Hey, it's Program 13 again. How's it going? Um, this is a video response to uh, 8 Dragon Quest. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's got a great channel. He's really funny. Um, yeah, just go check him out. It's at uh, what youtube.com slash user slash 8 Dragon Quest. Very funny guy. A lot of interesting and unique content. <laughs> go check him out. I'm just thinking of some of the crazy stuff I've seen. His, I love his... Uh, <laughs> I love his intro, just, um, you know, he's, he's telling all the stuff he's got going on one of them is uh, jump kicks, and he does this jump kick off a wall, man. Dude, uh, brother, that is one of the best jump kicks off a wall I've ever seen a white dude do. You know what I mean? Good job, good times. All right, yeah, but his question was for, that, that I thought was really good. It's a little off uh, the video game uh, genre, which I usually like to stay to, because it's what I'm most passionate about. But, second, I mean... You know, other than music, I love some TV. And this question was, uh, what are your top five all-time favorite TV shows? And to me, man, I have my top five down. You know, that's kind of how I am about things. I, I, I don't spend too much time thinking about others. I know which ones I like. I know my top fives. I know my top threes. Um, so I just roll with it. And it's my honest-to-God feelings about it. But my number five, I don't have nothing to show for it, you know, it's not like I, actually I do. My number five favorite all-time TV show is, where'd it be? I forgot I had it on video, is Twin Peaks. Um, great show. If, if you've never watched Twin Peaks, uh, man, it is so good. It, it, it came out in the early 90s, um, late 80s, early 90s, I think maybe even like 1990 it came out. But uh, it's done by David Lynch, who was one of my favorite all-time directors. Um, he's done things, you know, films like Eraserhead and uh, uh, Blue Suede. And, you know, he's done great films. And this is uh, his baby, and it was a great show, you know. It was a huge pop culture icon back in the 90s of who killed Laura Palmer. But check this out. If you've never seen Twin Peaks, I highly recommend it. Great, great series. Number four would be a series that is uh, that was exclusive. I mean, it was made over in England, and um, I watched it in the early 90s and fell in love with it. And it's called Red Dwarf. Um, I used to watch it on a BBC channel that I used to get it with my satellite at the time, you know, back in the early 90s. And it was it was one of those uh, shows, I mean, it was it had this, 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 this crazy sense of humor. It had a great characters. I mean, it was based solely on the characters. I mean, they were so great. And and even though it was a, a sci-fi, you know, even a sitcom type of a show, it uh it really it it really had it didn't depend on the, its special effects. It was story driven and to me back then when I was, you know, 17, 18, I just fell in love with it. But yeah, number 4, Red Dwarf. Number 3, it's a show that's not too old, and it was on not too long ago, and that is uh, Reaper. Um, I I thought that show was was awesome. I mean, um, it it had a you know a kid and his three buddies, and his dad was Satan, and you know <laughs> it, it just had a great premise, and it was uh, done well. The guy who played Satan was was great. He was he was hilarious, and uh, and that show was abruptly. I mean, I fell in love with it. I watched each show. And it just kind of abruptly ended, and uh, that that really sucked. And that, that kind of jaded me to know about network television. You know, they don't care about what you like, or any, they just care about the money, you know, what it brings in. And that, that kind of sucks sometimes, because it ends great shows like Reaper. Number two is Dead Like Me. It was a show, I think it was on Showtime, but uh, there was, again, there was a couple seasons and then they made a movie so it it tied it up and it ended it up well but it was of a girl who dies um young joe i think her, i can't remember her name i think her name was joe but anyway she dies and she uh comes back as as a reaper as a as a grim reaper you know and she has to learn how to deal with this and reap people's souls when they die you know she has to go and hang out at certain places and wait for them to die and explain to them you know hey you know You've, you've, you've died, and let's, I'm here to help you pass over. And sometimes they don't always pass over, and that's the, that's uh, good story arcs. Um, my number one all-time top favorite, 
television show. Don't laugh, but because uh, I don't think it's in my demographic, but I love the show, and that is Supernatural. Um, I love Supernatural so much, man. I mean, I, in fact, I think they should make a video game where you're, you know, a co-op game, local co-op game, where you're Sam and Dean Winchester going around killing ghosts and everything else, you know, and it would be such a great premise. But anyway, I love that show. I, I, again, I know it's not really made for my demographic, even though I love the stories and it's, I think it should be made for a guy like me, but for some reason I, I get the overtones that the show is in its seventh season, which is crazy enough, but um, I just get overtones that it's made for young girls. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but I love the show. I don't care if it's made for young girls, teeny bobbers who love the the hot young dudes who are in Supernatural. I could care less. It's got a great story. It has, I mean, it, it just, it's got angels, demons. Uh, it has, you know, Satan. <laughs> it has pretty much everything that, that makes a good story. And uh, I highly recommend it. But those are my top five and uh, top five TV shows of all time. So thanks for... Uh, Thanks for letting me do a video response, hey, Dragon Quest. I love your channel, and uh, t take care, brother.